Good afternoon from Bobblehead Homestead. I am Jeff. Today is Wednesday. It's about 55 degrees, sunny, and it's been raining all day yesterday, which is why I didn't do a video yesterday, and been raining most of today. It's like 4.30 right now, so I have no idea what this video is going to be about. Uh, I spent part of the day over at a neighbor's house, and I'll talk more about that a little bit later. But okay, so... Whatever is going to happen is going to happen now. <laughs> Here's my front window. And boy, it's nice having a chicken flock right outside my front window. Yes, that's a little Welsomer cockerel. One of them is starting to crow. They are. Those are two pullets that are should be laying any day now. Three more cockerel pullets. What I've done is that is a whiting true blue rooster. I have moved him into this flock. So he has joined the uh, the three sisters and the five Welsomer cockerels. These five Welsomer cockerels I will be moving to uh, to a different flock. They are coming of age. So we got to keep them separated. And then I've also moved, this is Carol Burnett. And Private Benjamin, Carol Burnett on the left. That's the Whiting True Blue dude. But those uh, those are Whiting True Blue hens, Carol Burnett and Private Benjamin. Carol Burnett just finished molting. She's looking good. You're looking good, Carol. Look at the feathers on her. Just beautiful. And Private Benjamin is molting right now. She is not looking her prettiest. She's got the little sideburns going on. Don't you, Private Benjamin? Yeah. And Mary Tyler Moore is in this flock also. She's in the coop right now. Mary Tyler Moore is also molting. So I have not been getting any whiting true blue hens from these ladies for a while now. And I'm, uh, I'm anxious for some of your blue eggs, ladies. I know it's getting colder and rainy and, yeah... But Carol, you stopped molting. You're, it looks like you're all feathered in again. So I could really use some eggs, Carol. Yeah. Speaking of eggs, let's go take a look at some eggs. All right, this is my automatic turning incubator. And I put five white and true blue eggs in there uh, three more than three weeks ago. These were due to hatch on the 28th, and today is the 30th and there are no signs of hatching so that's a bummer yeah it does not look like those five white and true blue eggs are gonna hatch and we had that eight hour power outage and I'm sure that did not help but I'm um, uh, those were older eggs anyway because I was waiting for the other eggs I had in the incubator and so I was not expecting anything from those anyway it was just one of those Hey, I've got these five eggs. I might as well give it a try. I gave it a try. Didn't work out, so try again. <laughs> yeah, Preston and I pretty much got this chicken coop done in two days, which is, for me, that's pretty fast. It's not done. I don't have hinges for the door yet, so I just got to put some hinges on there. And uh, what else? And I need to put some more roosting bars in. I've got one roosting bar up there, but I want another one, and then I want another one lower in here, too. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see inside the coop. But same basic design as my other ones, and we will have uh, chickens ready to go. Oh, I usually get questions, why do I put the nesting boxes up front instead of in the back? Well, if I put them in the back, you got to duck under... The roosting bars and that's just uh, harder on the back if I put them back there because then the, you have to put the roosting bars up front and now if I were able to access the eggs from the outside you know if I went that extravagant on the build then then putting them in the back would make some sense but uh, I uh, I check the eggs three or four times a day so I don't want to be ducking under the under the roosting bars every time so, yep, that's pretty much it on the chicken coop. So, who is, uh, which chickens are going to go in this hoop coop? This one's green. Oh, can, yep. Yep, this one's green. 
It's brown on one side and green on the other, and we, we picked the green on this one. Dare to be different. Um, I'm not 100% positive yet, but I think I'm going to put Wild Berry and his flock up here. I like looking out my windows and seeing all my cool chickens, and Wild Berry and his flock are some of my cool chickens. So, But that would require moving all 13 of them in here. And which is more work than uh, than uh, doing it some other way, but we'll see. Right now, I'm right now I'm still leaning on moving Wild Berry and and his 12 hens in here, and that would make for uh, make for some good entertainment outside my front door and my front window. So you'll just have to stay tuned and see which chickens are going in the new coop. This is a big patch of mushrooms. I don't know what kind they are, but. Uh, I've got this area right in here in the wood chips and oh yeah there's more under there just a ton of mushrooms and Fifi following me following me around Fifi the follower are those good or bad mushrooms Fifi I don't know either I think we should stay away from them yeah here's some more mushrooms uh, yesterday I just had a whole bunch of mushrooms so let's Let's take a look at some of my pictures from yesterday. Fifi, I think the ladies are trying to say hello. They're checking you out. It is drizzling and it's supposed to rain some more, so oh, this uh, I'm going to wrap up this video. But, um... It is drizzling and it's supposed to rain some more, so yeah, this uh, I'm going to wrap up this video. I do want to talk about, um... My neighbor that I went to see his property today, and it is for sale. Uh, this is the, the new neighbor that I met uh, not too long ago and ended up gabbing all afternoon and skipping my nap and uh, just having a grand old time. You know, I went over to, to fix my weed trimmer, and, you know, uh, that took about three minutes, and then the, uh, the rest of the three hours we were sitting around talking. Anyway, so he stops by today, and he's got these Morans. Uh, French copper moran rooster and a couple hens and then another hen and um, and he's selling his property so we might work something out there um, that's not what the new chicken coop is for that's something different <laughs> but so he was showing me around his property and holy cow I'm gonna go over there and do a tour I think I really need to do that and make a video for him so that he can use that to help sell it but I'm telling you he was thinking ahead and um, it is set up for homesteading. It's 30, over 30 acres um, and it's just got all, it's got a greenhouse, it's got a storm shelter, you, it's just, you got to see it to believe it. But it's, um, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to go over there and uh, he's got... <laughs> Man, if I had, what, 275000 bucks, I'd buy it in a second. I mean, it's set up to move in, ready. It's not fenced. Um, but, you know, you can, with electric fencing these days, Premier One, you know, just one strand for cows. And you could be set up. There's already a chicken coop uh, with a very big, nice run. Um, it cleared a bunch of it. Pasture is ready. It's already been hay and... Oh man, it's just, it's a, yeah, 
video or it didn't happen so I got to go over there and take a video of his property and if any of you out there are looking for homesteading property I'm telling you this is like four miles away from me if that um, uh, two miles on the dirt roads and he's actually on blacktop so you wouldn't have to deal with the dirt roads that I have to but yeah he's just like um, not even four miles down the road from me so hey bonus you'd have bobblehead homestead as a in your neighborhood but man it is a it's a sweet property and you know it's not a top of the line everything ritzy but it's a homesteading property with functioning attributes that most homesteaders would you know just move in and get get moving um, it is set up ready to go man I wish I was I wish I was rich for a day but no uh, see now that gives me something to and it's got multiple multiple living situations that could happen on there okay all right um, so look for that in the next week I'm gonna go over and uh, weather permitting where we'll do a tour and I'll do a video for him that he can he can use, and then I'll do a video for my channel also. It might be just, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just, uh, uh, he's being helpful to me, and a man, I think that'd be great just to, just to show the foresight that, and he just had a life, you know, life changes sometimes, and it's not, uh, not in the cards for him right now. So, man, it'd be, it'd be great. Well, and he said this. It'd be great to find somebody who would appreciate you know the thought that he put into you know building it up into a you know a mini farm or a, or a homestead all right enough talking about that thank you for watching thanks for sticking with me sorry the weather's been rainy i haven't been able to do a lot but that's all right because i did a lot uh building that chicken coop so i needed yesterday off anyway i needed today off anyway also all right hope everybody has a great halloween if you're into that sort of thing if i get any trick-or-treaters Man, they're just in the wrong neighborhood for trick-or-treating. That's all I got to say. Uh, I'll give them some eggs. <laughs> Happy Halloween. Happy uh, Wednesday. Hope you're having a great week. Thanks for watching. Take her easy, everybody.